you can create a dashboard in about 90 seconds using Jump software. Let's take a look at how to do it. To create a dashboard, you have to have a sense of the type of content that you want to display inside that dashboard and also the relative position and the alignment of those pieces of content. Here's an example sketch of what I want to achieve. Sometimes the benefit of a dashboard is simply the convenience of having all your content in a single window. But a dashboard truly comes into its own when those pieces of content complement each other and help to tell a story. So once I've shown you how easy it is to create a dashboard, I'm going to create a second one. It's very simple, but it's actually one of my favourite dashboards. It will illustrate this concept of storytelling. Let me start by turning on the timer. And now what I want to do is create some content. So on the first row of my dashboard, I want to have a control chart. On the bottom row, what I want to do is to have a distribution of my data. And let's have that horizontally arranged like so. Now what I want to do is combine these two windows into a single dashboard. And that's my dashboard completed. I'm now just going to make some cosmetic changes. So maybe make this taller and change the colour. Take off this title and maybe just call this a control chart. And I want to have the height not as tall, so let's just shrink this window. So there's my final control chart. I could just adjust the length of this to line up with the content on the bottom. And there, I'm happy with that. So I would typically then save this as a script to my data table. But in this instance, what I'd like to do is just think a bit closer about what I want to achieve with this dashboard. I want to tell a story and that story starts with a distribution. So my starting point is that I do a distribution of the length and only have a distribution. So there. So I look at the distribution and say, OK, well, that looks reasonably bell shaped. It looks like I've just got natural variation around about 16. But to confirm that, I then want to look at the time evolution. So on the right hand side, I put the time evolution. So that's really what I want my dashboard to look like. Now, the nice thing about the dashboard builder, it naturally recognizes the alignment of the windows. So now when I build my dashboard, it puts them in a horizontal arrangement. Now I can do some final changes. Again, I'm just going to change the color. That's a cosmetic change. But the key thing, I want to have the axis of my distribution to line up with the axis of my control chart. So I kind of want to have these heights similar to each other. And I also want to make sure that 15.9 lines up with 15.9 and 16.1 lines up with 16.1. If you want to be really obsessive about this, you can take uh, the data table window or any other window and kind of look at the top of the 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 window uh, and use it as a ruler. So you can see my 15.9 is a bit too low on here. As I said, this is a bit obsessive, but um, why not get it right? So that's about right. And then the 16.1 is pretty good. So that's a fairly good alignment now. So that finishes off my my dashboard. There's my final dashboard. Again, maybe I don't, well, actually, I'll just leave that title. I think that's perfect. As I said, I would typically save this to my data table. And so when I'm looking at the data and when I would typically use a distribution, I can now look at the distribution plus the time evolution. Let me demonstrate why that's so important. I'm going to come back to my home window and let me take a data table here, which has got the dashboard attached to it. So there's my histogram and the time evolution. And now let's take another data table and look at the same dashboard. 
And the key thing I want to emphasize is the fact that these distributions are identical for both dashboards. However, you'll see that the dashboard at the top has got just random variation, whereas at the bottom we see this structured change where the process is drifting downwards and then it's moved upwards. Presumably we've done some type of correction to the process, but now it's coming back down. So the same distribution has a very different time evolution and the dashboard allows me to have a much broader perspective of these data. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, please give it a like. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.